Okay, everybody, I hope you're all doing well this week. Uh, we're just going to pick up where we left off last time with this uh, poster design. Uh, the only thing that I've uh, done here is I brought in some guidelines to make sure that I have at least an eighth of an inch, uh, eighth of an inch, uh, you know, margin here. With a uh, poster that's so big, it's uh, kind of, you know, hard to tell, you know. How, cl how close you are to the edges. So it's always a good idea to uh, to make sure that you're covered. Um, just got to adjust my thing here. Just a touch. Hang on. There we go. All right. Okay, so we got the little ring of faces here. Uh, this was the uh, composite that I dropped in from the second video. I decided to lose uh, one of these stars and add another. And if you want to do that with your project, you can, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Um, I got to make some a few minor adjustments here. That's one of the reasons that I brought in the uh, the guidelines. Uh, first off, what I want to do is adjust this guy. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a uh, free transform. Grab him and we'll kind of tilt him this way. So what I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the the curve going into this. So if I have his face tilted more, and maybe moved up just a touch, it kind of brings it right in. Okay, now that doesn't really uh, mess too much with, uh, with these guys here. Okay, so uh, let's just give this a little nudge here too. About like that. That ought to do it. Okay, so it's a little more cohesive right there. All right. Now, the next thing I want to uh, play with here is a little bit of the lighting. I think this might be a little bit too dark through here. So, uh, while we're on this uh, layer, I'm going to rename that faces because it took the uh, name of the layer that was on top when I merged them together, uh, which was mask. For this um, now I'm just gonna call it faces let's go ahead and fix the uh, fix a little bit of the contrast and the lighting okay so let's make that just a touch brighter and uh, to the contrast up a little bit more so I want them to pop just a little bit more that's too much right there maybe right about there or a little too dark before okay that ought to do it all right so right here, that's right there, and so on and so forth. Okay, now the next thing, um, now that I got this thing pretty well set the way I want it, the way I want it, I, I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and add a few more flames to this, this stuff through here. Okay, now I have those on layer one, but I'm going to take those and I'm going to move that up if it lets me. There we go. All right, so it's on top of the layer that has the silhouette and the cave. And I'm going to rename this Flames. Okay, now we should be able to, uh, to add a little bit more to it. And uh, we don't want to get too crazy with it, but I, I think we need just a little, little something more. All right, now that brush is one that you can find online. These are a bunch of specialty brushes. Um, Cursed Explosion 2. Okay. So these are explosion brushes. I'm trying to remember which one I was using. Uh, Kind of hard to tell when they're that small. Let's make it as big as possible. Let me see. I wonder if that was the right set. Yeah, I get a little mixed up too with my own brush. Oh, wait a minute. Set one. That's the one. My mistake. I have too many of these things sometimes. All right.
All right, let's set that on red. Okay, see how that's lightening it up considerably. Okay, so that's actually a good thing. Let's go ahead and grab another one here. All right, now I'm going to switch over to yellow real quick. Click one, click two, there we go, click three. There we go. Now, we have that all set. We can actually, now, it was already set on 73, so if we turn it up all the way, that's way too much. So we're going to take that down just a little bit more. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe just a touch more. Okay, so you notice how that the red underneath kind of lit up a little bit of some of the stuff you didn't see through here before. I kind of like that. Okay, sort of this nimbus of uh, fiery sort of clouds. I feel like they're coming out of this thing here. All right, now uh, the next thing that we need to play with is um, I need to merge all these layers together before I do the next thing that I want to do. Now, the thing is, if uh, I try and uh, merge a layer that is, say, like set, set on pin light and one that's set on hard light, if I just merge those two together, uh, one's going to win and the other's going to lose. That's going to mess up what I have here. So, let's see. If I do this. Okay. Yeah, see that kind of changed the way it looked a little bit. So what you have to do in a situation like this, uh, once you have things basically set up the way that you want, is uh, you need to you need to uh, basically just uh, not flatten the image, but just merge the layers. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, so I'm going to just go up to the uh, top here layer and just say merge visible. And that should merge what we have without messing with any of the blending. There we go. All right, now it's set as a background, but I'm just going to call this, I'm going to unlock this and rename it. If it lets me. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, we'll just call this uh, artwork, poster artwork. Okay. If I could spell, that would be great. Poster. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, okay, that works. That works pretty well for me, I think. I think I like what's going on here. Um, now the last thing I want to do, I don't want to have this look too much like a, uh, like, um, a photo montage, even though that's what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to give it some, uh, some paint strokes. So let's go up to filter, filter gallery. When it's a big graphic like this, it takes a little bit longer for this kind of stuff to work. Okay, <laughs> that was the last thing I had to set on was sketch. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and click on one of the other ones. Wow, look at that. That's a whole lot of nothing. Uh, let's click on paint daubs. Okay, and of course you can't really see anything here, so let's uh, hit Control Zero.
again when it's a big when it's a big graphic like this it takes a little while for uh for the program to read things but so far i'm kind of liking what i'm seeing with the paint daubs okay uh you can see that it's kind of uh kind of cool looking not quite done loading yet let me just uh move this thing down just a touch so you can see what i'm doing here all right there we go now i need to do i'm going to zoom in just a little bit yeah you can see the paint daubs kind of creates a sort of a cool look some of you may have already used paint daubs before, um, but it uh, adds a nice quality, okay? And you can adjust these, too. Uh, you can take your brush size up. And it'll make the uh, image just a little more painterly looking. You can see that kind of happening as it, uh, as it goes through the, uh, through the thing. And you can also play with the sharpness, make it more sharp or less. Now, you want to be careful of that, though. Sometimes you get weird things like this going on. Like, look at that, yeah. So actually, I'm going to take that back down to, to what we had before, which was uh, not terribly sharp but with a fairly decent brush size. That works all right. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on OK with that. Let's just give the rest of this a quick little look. Now, also, if I want to, I can go back in and uh, use my mixer brush to, uh, to create strokes. But I think this will actually work pretty good. This turned out better than I thought it would. Uh, right now, brush type is Sparkle. Um, I kind of like that, but uh, let's let's just roll through some of the other ones to show you the difference while we're zoomed in here on this. Uh, a simple brush. You can see it's it's just a, made it a little bit more blurry, actually. Light rough. Now you can see a little bit of texture coming through here. Okay. Dark rough. Again, you can see the texture kind of coming through there. See that a little bit of almost like a uh, grid there. Uh, wide sharp. Okay. Wide blurry. And you can see a much of a difference. And then I'm going to put it back on Sparkle again because that's the one I was going to use. Um, and that's the reason why it was uh, it was on the last setting that I had used uh, in this uh, using this filter, and it was uh, it was with Sparkle. So click on OK, and we it'll apply it. Again, with a big graphic, it takes a while. <sighs> okay. There, now we've got that applied and it should be all set. So let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's hit save. Put this back up here a little bit. File. Save. 
And again, when it's something when it's something this big, it takes a little while for it to actually do the job. So we're 99% there, all saved, ready to go. Now the next step is going to be to start adding the text, and uh, I will be doing that on the uh, on the next video. Okay, I will see you guys then.